hour and a half an hour, I'm going to show you the pilot winery and I'm going to show you the cellar. Okay, just to might give you guys a little bit better um, idea of what we actually do here in our program. So let's go to the pilot winery. So this is the cellar number of 12,152. We're up to about 30,000. So that's all the individual lots of wine that have, or grapes that have come in here. So since 1933, 12,000. So this bottle's probably from the 50s. Okay. So these are wines that were made by Dr. Amarine, Dr. Berg, Dr. Who. You can see that some of them are leaking here. Um, when we moved to our new facility, in fact, that's what I was going to talk about. Yeah, we'll move a portion of these over as far as our historical collection. Every time our faculty has a breaking, you know, research project, does it? We always get the news crews down here. This is where they do this. However, this is not reflective of modern storage. So, what's happening with the new facility? So you can bring this up. Your tours. Um, we have an academic building that's under construction down by the Mondavi Center in the south part of campus. Okay, that's sort of like the gateway to the. It's going to be the new gateway to the campus there because of the Interstate 80 um, exposure there. So we should move into that academic building in June of next year. Okay, so I think uh, in a couple of weeks they're going to put the last girdler in, and there's a big party. So you know for that there. Um, 
the winery is all we're we're going to move the winery, but not just quite yet. Um, uh, the winery is all privately funded. Okay, there was uh, I think your notes say that there Robert Mondavi gave us twenty five million dollars, of which twenty million of that was going to the academic building in the Institute for Food um, Science and Technology. Okay, five million of that was going to go towards the winery. Okay. Um, We've raised an additional $3 million, and right now we are in the process of planning that winery. In fact, I have a lot of deadlines uh, by Monday uh, to get a lot of the requirements in there. So we're actually working with the architects right now in designing the new winery, uh, which will um, basically be at that gateway to the campus. It's going to be sort of in the south portion there, and then we'll have about 14 acres of vineyard right there also. So the new brewery will also be in the same complex. So and, and so we're in the process. We're working with the architects and engineers from the university to uh, design a winery and brewing complex. So we each, each will be um, a separate entity, but we're going to have to share some facilities just because we don't want a lot of redundancy. And plus, we want to keep the costs um, cost of building down. Things here that I found so far. Um, we have some commercial wines from 1920.